Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Obviously, I'm on Rancho Rivershine again because there was an update a few days ago that introduces the saddlery and more tack for the horses, as well as blankets for the foals, according to the picture that I saw on Steam. I mentioned wanting blankets for foals in my last video, so, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see them. So I'm gonna show you guys all that new stuff today. Before we get started today though, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I would absolutely love to have you. All right, let's go check this stuff out. So, okay, oh, that's another thing they added. You can actually upgrade the corrals now so that the wild horses you catch will have higher stats, which is really, really cool. So that's what this letter is about. And then this one, ooh, the tack, okay. I thought I'd formally introduce myself and gift you some tack I've prepared for our new Rivershine champion. Please come visit my saddlery whenever you're in town and I'll give you a tour of my inventory. Oh, okay, so his name is Day? Is that how you would pronounce that? I'm not sure. But according to the Steam page, the items in the tack shop will change every day. So if you find something you like, you need to snag it up because it might not be there the following day. That's interesting. Oh, and you know what else I need to do too? Since I'm on Rancho Rivershine, I need to name these horses. <laughs> measles. Oh, I forgot about measles. Yeah, because we had talked about needing a name for this horse and this horse. I am going to do that as well. All right, who should I take? I think I'm going to take Venture with me to the tack shop and see what we can find. What is Magic wearing? Why does he have a saddle pad on? That's really strange. <laughs> Let's go to town. Oh, oh my gosh. I just remembered another thing they added. I haven't seen it yet. Yes, this is so nice. So if you're not familiar with this game, you can go to these statues. After you do so many races, they get up to 100% and you can take a horse to the statue and upgrade one of their stats. Now, before you'd have to run all the way to the statue to check it every single time, which is a big pain. So very nice that there's an interface now and you don't have to worry about running all the way there to check them. Okay, the saddlery. It's the vet clinic. Park office. Saddlery. Here we go. And my horse. Oh my gosh. Venture's not even wearing a... <laughs> she has no saddle pad and no bridle. Okay. And here he is. I've been looking forward to introduce you to my store. Have you looked around the saddlery yet? I sell all kinds of tack, like saddles, bridles, halters, saddle pads, leg wraps, ooh, breast collars, and accessories. Okay, okay, I just wanna see it. I thought I'd give you a few pieces to get started. A bow? Oh my gosh, this is cool. Wait, I can't, oh, a rope halter? It sucks it doesn't show up though, I wanna see it. Oh my gosh, this is really exciting. So let's take a look over here. That's a nice saddle pad, very Western. And that's kind of a pinkish, grayish, whitish. The white Western saddle is available for sale today. That's not really white. And then here's the breast collar that goes, oh, okay, I get it now. <gasps> oh, look at this blanket. Oh, that's cool. All right, I understand now. So the items that he has in his shop, you can't view them because they're on these models. All right, that makes sense. Okay, how much are they? I didn't even look. So the yellow rope halter is 900. Leather hackamore is 6,000. The saddle itself is 5,250. So I am just going to buy this. I really want this. What is this? Just blue blanket. There's no full blankets though, I'm sad. So I wanna buy this. Hmm, can I equip it on multiple horses if I only own one? I'm not sure. I wanna buy that and that and this. I'm gonna go broke. I'm just gonna buy it all. Did I already buy this? I've already forgotten. I don't think I can change my tack without being in my stall or in the stall. We've got new menus down here too. Okay, let's run home. I have a feeling I didn't buy something. I really want full blankets. The foals in the pictures look so cute. Okay, now we can do this. Medicine, was that there before? I don't think so. The white rope halter. Oh, that's what he gave me. Okay, white leather hackmore. 
Oh, you can have both on at the same time. That's cool. White square, green west. Ooh. I mean, I don't like the that saddle pad on her so much. White western saddle. Obviously not with that blanket. Oh my gosh. There we go. Brown leather boots. White rope breast collar. Where's the white bow? Oh, cute. Blue blanket. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. Oh, it stays on her in her stall. Oh, I'm so excited. It's little things like this that just make me so happy. <laughs> that's adorable. All right, I want to test and see if I can put the same blanket on another horse, even though she's wearing it. So let us see. Yes. So I can technically put the blanket on all of my horses. And since the tack items change every day, I can get different colors and different variants. So yay. So I guess I need to take care of my horses, but I'm going to let Venture back out into the paddock. And now she's all tacked up. Oh, cute. She looks so cute with this stuff. Look at the tail bow and her brown boots. So when I ride her, does the bridle go or the halter go away? Yes, it does. <gasps> this update has made me very happy. I'm very excited. This is so cute. So let's put you away, Venture. And her blanket goes back on. Ah! Now they can be in the snow and I don't have to feel guilty. <laughs> and I still don't know why Magic is wearing that. I wonder if that's a bug of some sort. Wait a minute, maybe the blanket automatically gets smaller on the foal. I just thought of that. It just kind of fits to it. Well, you know, since I'm on the game anyways, I might as well do the breeding matching I wanted to do last time. I want to breed natural maple with measles. So let's do that today. That'll be fun. And we can see if the blanket will go on the foal. I do think that uh, measles is still too young to breed, though. Let me see. Yeah, she's still a young adult, and it says Philly, so she can't be bred until it says mare. I don't know how long it takes for them to be considered fully adult. And this colt I am not going to keep, so I don't think I can sell him as a colt. Really, I'm not sure. I'm going to take him to the auction house and see. Oh, and I actually forgot to do the quest to Jay, too. I don't know if it's Jay or Jai. I just realized I rode this horse to the auction, and I don't know if I can sell it if I'm riding it. Ah, I knew you'd be interested in finding better wild horses. The beginner horses are not too bad for now, but as the competitions get harder, you'll need horses skills to, with skills to match. Only the best for our Rivershine champion. I'll be able to improve the corral to attract intermediate, advanced, and expert. Nice. So there'll be all kinds of horses showing up. Okay. Cool. I still have all these courses I have not unlocked either. And now we can actually upgrade these. So that is a good thing to add. I just thought of something. <laughs> now that that update's added, I could find um, one of those paint horses I caught that is actually higher in skill. So it might be worth me selling natural maple, upgrading the corral, and then looking for another horse. Uh, this is weird. Oh, there we go. Can I sell this horse? No, I cannot. I did see measles on the list, though, so I guess this horse isn't too young to sell. It's just because I decided to ride him here that I can't sell him. I guess I'll just wait until tomorrow because I want to go back into town anyway to see what tack they have. So I did some racing horribly. I got third place, second place, and fourth. It's really difficult. Anyway, this is the next day and this popped up. So it says, I've set up a little treasure hunt for tack enthusiasts and I thought I'd give you some hints to get started. That's interesting. I don't know what that means. So I'll just grab a horse. Oh, and by the way, I did check on natural maple's stats, the stallion I wanted to breed with uh, measles. His stats are very, very, very low, like ridiculously low. I'll show you. Look at this. 
So I think I am going to sell him after all and upgrade the past or upgrade the round pin so I can get a higher statted horse. It sucks, but it makes more sense in the gameplay scheme of things. And who knows, maybe we'll find a horse that's even prettier. So today, let's take magic out. Oh gosh, I accidentally whistled. Now everybody's coming. <laughs> I'm gonna fix this situation though. The blanket situation is really weird. So we'll put this new stuff on him as well. Of course, the green on this coat color I really like. And we gotta go by the tack shop and see what new tack they have. I really like that um, you can share the tack between horses. You don't have to have multiple pieces for it to work. That's super nice. I'm gonna sell natural maple. I'm gonna sell little cloud. We're going to check out the new tack for the day. And I need to be able to upgrade that round pen. I think I saw it was 44,000, So we'll do that also. I'm probably not going to get a whole lot of money for these horses because they're not trained. But that's okay. Any little bit helps. The little cloud. Wait, 23,000? Hey, that's pretty good. Oh my gosh, his stats are really high. I might have just made a mistake. <laughs> oh well. I mean, I already have a pure white horse with Noel. I don't really need another one. And then natural maple. Only 11,000. Yeah, his stats are really low. He's pretty though. One bid higher, two bids higher. Three bids higher. Oh, wow. Hey, not too bad. Oh my gosh. Wow. It might be a lucrative business just to catch wild horses and sell them over and over. That's pretty good. Okay, so that's it for selling the horses for now. Hey, 69,000. Not bad at all. Before I go to the saddlery, I'm going to go talk to Jay because if I don't, I'll end up spending all of my money on tack and I really need to get that upgraded. <laughs> I know myself way too well. Where are you, Jay? Where are you? Oh, he's still in his bedroom. He's just waking up. Sorry to interrupt you. I believe those horses came from the lake pin. We're going to purchase that. At least it's intermediate. Advanced would be better, but that might take a while, so not going to worry about it. So let's go talk to Shen now. Curious to see what this scavenger hunt is all about. Is this your house? No, where am I? I went one up too far. Oh, there he is. Hello, Shen. So we'll turn in the quest. Okay, I've hidden some of my favorite pieces of tack and chests around the town and trails. I thought that whoever is adventurous enough to embark on a treasure hunt is most deserving of that equipment. It adds a bit of fun to the village, don't you think? Okay, cool. Look under bridges. Three chests in each area. Good luck on your treasure hunt. Okay. So today we have a brown endurance saddle. Black leather breast collar. Black bell boot. Ooh, bell boots. A red ribbon. Black classic bridle. Okay, I need to go to his shop and actually see this. Oh, the green blanket. That would look really good on Matt. Oh, there's a ribbon. Cute. And the bell boots on the mannequin down there. And the black breast collar looks really good. Brown saddle and... Oh, that's an interesting blanket. All this stuff is so nice. I'm gonna have to race so much to get all these. I wanna buy this green blanket because that's Magic's color. And I like the black breast collar. I like the bell boots and the black bridle. Because for my English set, I don't have a bridle that really matches very well. Hopefully I have enough money though. Okay, so the black, oh, that's not bad, 1500. I want the green blanket. Um, I want the breast collar. Oh, red ribbon would be cute too. Can I buy both? Yes. And I'm completely broke. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm going to have to race so much with this new tack every single day. Not to mention, I still have multiple buildings to upgrade on my ranch and within the world. Ugh. <sighs> 
And the races are hard now. They're legitimately really hard. I want to put the green blanket on magic and see what it's going to look like. Okay, uh, blanket, blanket. Yes, oh, that looks so good. Let's take magic out into the paddock. And I'm going to train measles. Where did he go? I want to see him with his green blanket. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's perfect. Venture needs a pink blanket. I have to find a pink blanket. I just realized I didn't edit my tack. So <laughs> look, no bridle, no saddle pad. Oh, that's Rocky Mountain. Rocky Mountain is actually going to be in the next update, according to the Steam community page. So that is exciting. Brand new map, brand new races. And yep, this is the jumping one. I did actually upgrade this one so I can do it twice a day. Get as much training in as possible. We're almost out of energy. One more jump. Oh, one more jump. Let's go this way. Whoops. Okay. Hey, that helped quite a bit. Very nice. Just kind of spinning in a circle. Use up the little bit of energy she has left to work on her flexibility. And it's almost out. Okay. It's done. It is the third day. And I went ahead and put my new tack on measles here. So yay. Something actually matches my English style saddle. The bridle looks really nice with it. And then also the breast collar. Stop eating. I think also looks really, really nice. And I've got my fancy bell boots on and the white tail bow. So we're going to head into town again and see what is for sale today. This tack looks good on her because of her white specks. All right, we've got another saddle pad here. And oh, that's an interesting saddle. Okay, kind of a Western style bridle. Black rope halter. A yellow tail bow. Oh. <gasps> Is that pink or purple? I can't really tell, but either way, I'm buying it. <laughs> We've got kind of a tan brownish chest or breast collar and then black leg wraps. So I definitely want to buy the blanket for Venture and the pink saddle pad as well. And then I guess the black leg wraps. If I have enough money, I probably don't though. I only have 10,000. And the guy's not even here. It's too early in the morning. Oh, he's not that far away. Where are you at? I don't care if I'm interrupting your breakfast. I want to buy something. That's considered red. That did not look red. And either way, I'm buying it. And I can still get the saddle pad. How much are the polo wraps? Six fifty, and the saddle pad two thousand. <laughs> okay, wow, barely had enough. I really need some wild horses to show up. I need to catch some. Yay! I'm excited. Got venture her blanket. So if that's considered red, I wonder what the heck pink would look like or purple. Okay, venture, where are you? You need a new blanket. There you are. I guess it's kind of reddish, but it's more pink. And then for this set, we need the red. Aw, cute. There we go. She's got her pink blanket on. Looks really good. And I guess while I'm here, come here. Come back, Bubbles. Give the other horses blankets too. Give you blue. Call them all over here. Come on, horsies. Noelle, we will also give you pink. Spartan. Oh, <laughs> Noelle's face is just right there. We'll give Spartan blue. Um, Is that everybody? Yes. Everybody's nice and warm. Oh, Measles still needs a blanket. So we'll give Measles the pink also. And we'll let old Sunny Beetle, this is Magic Sun, he will wear green. Ooh, this is the fourth or fifth day, and look at this. Wild horses in Crystal Lake. That's exactly what I was hoping for, because that's where I want to find the uh, new stallion. Hopefully we have good luck. I want the same type of coat pattern, 
just with higher stats. So let's go check it out and hope for the best. Sabino, that's the name of the coat. Okay, they're over here. I am right here, so I need to turn this direction. Wait, oh, I see some horses. I don't know if I see any Sabinos though. Got a chestnut. Oh man, what bad luck. So the only one that's really catching my eye is this freckled looking white one. Where's the brown pin? What? Down here. That one right there. Man, that really sucks. I thought for sure we'd have more Sabinos. But we'll see what this horse is. All right, let's go inspect this horse. It's freckly. Come back, come back. Oh, it's a mare. It doesn't even matter. It's a black roan Sabino. Ugh, why are you a mare? Let's go back and look at the herd one more time. I honestly thought that it would just be kind of more of a common thing for that coat to be with the wild horses. Looks like we've got three roans. One right here. It's kind of a cool looking horse too though. This one's got the silver mane and tail, so that's kind of interesting. We're gonna run this one down and see if it's a boy or a girl. And don't hit the tree. Its face is actually really cute. Be a stallion. Silver black roan. Oh, I kind of like that. Be a stallion. Be a stallion. It's a mare. Why? Why are you a mare? And all beginner stats. She's really pretty though. I like her. Well, you know, since I'm here anyway, I'm going to take this mare home just to sell her. Ooh, or I could breed her with bubbles. That's actually a good idea. Yes, we're going to breed her with bubbles. And I will wait on another Sabino for my other, or for this horse, for measles. Okay, so not all is lost. We still have some hope. At least we'll get a full. Oh, and I haven't been to the tack shop yet today. So let's go check and see what's in the store. I've got $14,000. Might be able to buy something nice. Oh, that's a nice saddle. And a brown saddle pad. Blue breast collar. Oh, look at the leg wraps. And a black blanket that was Magic's original color. And the same halter and this same bridle. Okay, so red polo wraps, even though they're not red to me. And black blanket. All right, we're already getting lots and lots of tack. And I still have to go around and find all the chests. So now we're going to go home and breed this new Mustang with um, bubbles. She's probably in a stall, so I gotta let her out. Tall Clover. <laughs> Interesting name. I hope that the foal comes out with more Sabino. Because she's just pretty much just a white horse with these little freckles. Because of the Appaloosa coloring on Bubbles, it might be interesting. All right, Bubbles. I'm gonna breed you again. I'm actually surprised that breeding doesn't cost anything. I don't want to give the developer any ideas. <laughs> oh, not Magic. Not Delilah. Okay, we got Bubbles. Nope, not Venture. Not Noel. Tall Clover, here we go. Only 68% chance. It's not great. Okay, so we will check tomorrow and see if they have bread. I kind of want to put the blue, or the black blanket on him. Ooh, fancy. It looks like there's only two more colors of the blankets. So we're already collecting them quite quickly. All right, heading to sleep. No way! There's horses in Crystal Lake again! That's crazy! That's good luck. Maybe. We'll see. Come on, measles. I didn't even check to see if the pregnancy was successful. I'm too excited at the fact that there's more wild horses. And in the lake area. Where are they today? Kind of the same location. Alright, I see them up ahead. Chestnut. Couple of dark horses. I don't see any Sabinos. And it's crazy because the first time I ever saw them, there was like three or four of them. Oh, there's one. Oh, that's a cool pattern. That's a really cool pattern. <gasps> I hope that's a stallion. Oh, please be a stallion. Turn this way. Oh, he's cool. If he's a he. I really hope it is. Gosh, I'm all over the place. 
I hope I'm going the right way. There's the round pin. Even if this is a mare, I'll breed her with someone. That's a really cool coat. All right, let's see what this horse is. Look at that pattern. Wow. Stormy hair. It's a mare. Dang it. But intermediate on everything but speed. Oh, no wonder I like it. It's a liver chestnut Sabino. <laughs> but yeah, I'm definitely adopting this horse. Here we are at the saddlery. Check out more of the tack. Oh, that's a different style of saddle. I have not seen. Cool bridle. Two cool bridles. Or is that? No, no, no. That's a halter. I like it though. Yellow ribbon, white blanket, another black breast collar, and some bell boots. Some white bell boots. Um, I think I should buy the white blanket because I've almost got them all. And I kind of like that halter too. But I also kind of like this blanket. Ah, I like everything. Let's talk to him. So, oh, that's a racing saddle. Oh, it's really expensive too. It's a really nice saddle though. So I am gonna buy the white blanket. We've almost got the whole collection. Let's go home and see our new horses. Well, no, new horse and then see if our other one's pregnant. I don't remember what her name was. Um, oh yeah, Stormy Hair. <laughs> I finally have a liver chestnut. Uh, since I've started this game, I've wanted one. So I'm very happy with this horse. Whoops, I didn't mean to sit on her, but oh well. Yeah, her stats still aren't great because she's not expert level. But it's better than the other stallion was, so. Okay, we're going to take her in here so I can check on the status of the pregnancy on Bubbles and that other Mustang. She's over there. Can't tell. I don't think she's pregnant. Mm, maybe. Nope. Okay. Didn't think so. Okay, I'm going to look over some of the names you guys put for the other horses. And I'm just going to snag one of those and call her that. So this horse, I'm going to name Abby. That's a cute name. And for the horse that I'm trying to breed back here, I'm going to name her Muddle. And then for this Colt, Venture and Magic's Colt. Where are you? There you are. A lot of people brought up a, a names that had to do with smoke. So Smokey, Chimney. Um, there was some other ones I can't think of right now. But I kind of totally see where you're going with the smoke theme. This is kind of <laughs> going out on a limb. But I think of like Smoking Gun and then Gunner. Gunner's kind of a cool name, I guess. Oh, can I rename that horse right here? No, I can't because she's in the breeding stall. Okay, so we have to wait to rename her. That's okay. I read on my comments just now that there are Palominos in Pine Forest, I guess. I did not know that. So I'm going to have to keep a lookout for some Palominos and get Meadow over here. I already know this video is going to turn out to be way too long. <laughs> I tend to do this. This video was meant to show off the update with the tack, but I do want to see it on a full. So I'm going to include that. Uh, not pregnant. How dare you? Okay, she's pregnant finally. It's been three days. Well, that took a while. Where'd she go? I will probably honestly never even train this horse with these stats. I just kind of wanted her color. I was going to leave her in the pasture and give her a blanket black on her with her black mane and tail that looks nice okay so now we've got seven days to wait for this foal and we can see some of this stuff on the foal i do want to go check the tack shop for the day oh i need to put her new leg wraps on to match her blanket i forgot and i finally won some races so that's good got seventeen thousand dollars now what do we have today oh it's a pink breast collar. Well, red, technically. 
And a green saddle pad that would be cute for magic. Another one of these padded halters that I like. So let's buy the green saddle pad. Do I really want the red rope breast collar? Oh, a pink competition ribbon. We'll buy that. And I don't really want the red breast collar. Not a big fan of the colored ones. I just like either white or black or brown, depending on the saddle. Do I want white bell boots? Do I really care? Nah, not really. I guess that's what's supposed to be on that mannequin. Just not rendering or something. I just have to say again how happy it makes me to see the horses wearing their blankets out here in the snow. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. I haven't given Abby a blanket yet. Well, that won't do. We'll give her the white blanket. And for her tack, I do need more saddles. I really don't have very many to choose from. Now I'm regretting not getting the white bell boots. <laughs> they would have matched. That's my only English kind of looking blanket. Maybe we should go with this color and then put these. Yeah, it looks okay, I guess. See, that does not look pink to me. That looks brown almost. This is definitely more almost magenta. Okay, now we've selected what she'll look like when we tack her up. Okay, now more waiting. Waiting for the baby. I saw that there was another wild herd here in Crystal Lake, so I decided to come and check him check them out. What do we have here? So we've got a couple of Sabinos. That one kind of looks like the one I've already caught. This one's cool. And then oh, is that that's the exact coat of the other stallion I gave away or sold. Wouldn't that be hilarious if I found him again? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's his exact coat. So I'm going to run this one back. Even if I just take a horse to sell right away, it's a pretty good bunch of money for not very much work. Yeah, he has the black tips on his ears or he or she. That's really funny. Um, okay. Guess he doesn't want to go down that hill. There we go. Okay, relax. You're fine. Bold Storm. Wasn't that the name before, too? Dark Bay... <laughs> no, that wasn't his name. His name was something Maple. That's right. Still, pretty sure it's the same coat. I want to catch the other paint that I think is also a Sabino because it looks more Tobiano to me. But it's almost like a Tobiano Sabino. Is that even a thing? Whoa, what's on that blue roan? You guys see those weird spots? What the heck? Ew, it's really weird. Every time I make a video on this game, I get distracted by doing stuff like this. Like, I'm not supposed to be catching wild horses. I'm supposed to be showing the new tack update. Ugh. But seriously, what is on that horse's leg? What is the color considered? It's just weird little white spots everywhere. Lively Eagle. It's also a stallion. So it's just a blue roan Sabino. That's really interesting. Okay, I'm gonna catch one more. That other paint. Uh, I'm either gonna breed him or sell him. I don't know. Either way, we'll make a little bit of money. All right, we've got him corralled. So let's see what kind of... I guess it's just a Sabino. It's just really solid. A light bay. Okay, so it is the same. Okay, we are going to take this boy because he looks just like Maple did. So I guess I found my partner for measles after all. <laughs> awesome. So that means I can have a breeding video again. I really love this mare, by the way. She is so cool. And here he is. Yep, he looks exactly like our other boy. One of the names suggested for Maple was uh, Pancake just because of maple syrup. I'll call him Pancake in honor of the other horse. Let's check our pregnant mare. Oh, here she is, still pregnant. Seems to be doing well. Geez, she went quick. Okay, her name's gonna be Muddle. So there, Muddle. Oh, she's got blue eyes, that's pretty. I didn't notice that. Off to bed I go while we wait for this foal. 
I'm so happy that I was able to get the stallion back with much higher stats than the other one. It's almost exactly the same. So that worked out so well. <laughs> I just realized too, I forgot to put a blanket on him. We still need one more color of a blanket. I wonder if it will be in the tax store today. And put him in green as well. Any baby yet? No baby yet. Off to the tax store I go to see the new stuff. Hopefully we'll get our last color of blanket. We've got that reddish pinkish halter. That's really cute. I might need to buy that. Kind of a yellow gold bow for the tail. Um, white leg wraps. Blue western saddle pad. Nothing that I absolutely have to have. I do like this halter for venture. And I do like the white leg wraps. So those are the only two things I'm interested in. Again, we're going to interrupt this guy's morning. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yes, I do want this. And yes. Oh, gosh. They're pricey. Do I have anything I can sell? I have quite a bit of oats. Oh, I can sell all this manure. Is that enough? Yes. Cool. Thank you for buying all my manure. <laughs> I appreciate it. There she is. So your halter is going to be this one. Yeah, that matches. Very pretty. I guess I should brush her. She looks really dirty. All this work just to see the foal in a blanket. Oh my gosh. I don't see a foal yet. And I still see her belly dangling under there. <laughs> I love how the horses do that nickering sound when you come in the room. It's so adorable. Ooh, he was really hungry. I have to feed him some oats, too. Oh, we finally have a foal. Oh, wow. Oh, it's cool. Look at this. A little filly. She's a blue roan Sabino. So it's like the one we found, but this looks a lot better. She almost looks like a marble. In fact, I think marble would be a good name for her. Either marble or granite. <gasps> oh, I like the name granite. I'm going to call her granite. Not even giving you a chance to chime in. I'm sorry, but she looks like granite to me. She's really pretty. The only reason I really wanted a foal today was to look at the blankets on them. But I am very, very happy with this foal. So we can use these different halters on the full. So that is super cute. Oh, look at the little blanket. Oh, that's cute. You look so cute, little baby. I love this. I love this. That is amazing. So cute. And I love this filly. Look at her black ears. He has the cutest black ears. She's so cute. Yeah, like I said, I was not planning on falling in love with this foal. I just wanted to breed it to see the tack on it, but I love her. <laughs> She's so cute. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video today. I had so much fun looking at all the new tack, and I'm sure there's a lot more that I haven't even seen yet. Next time, I want to do some more breeding now that I got these really cool new horses, and I want to try to find all the tack that's hidden around the world. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, bye. Mm -hmm.